Hey guys, here to talk to you today about John Steinbeck's Of Mice and Men. Of Mice and Men was originally published in 1937. This little Penguin edition was published in 1993. This, as you can tell, is just a little novella. I'm sure many of you watching have already read this. Um, but I just wanted to quickly go over my experience with this little thing. I was very much in the mood for something that I could read in one sitting. I really just felt like sitting down and getting absorbed in a story and being able to read it from start to finish without taking up too much of my day. And I've been very interested in starting to read some Steinbeck and this seemed like the perfect time to pick it up. I was so blown away by this tiny little thing. It was incredible, as I knew it would be, but it was just, it affected me in a way that I wasn't really expecting. I know that the majority of Steinbeck's work is depressing, which does not put me off at all. I like myself a good depressing book. Um, take that however you like. This, it didn't make me cry. I felt utterly numb. At the end of this book I was stunned and just in awe of his beautiful prose. For those of you unfamiliar with the story this book follows George and Lenny. George is a little man of average intelligence Lenny is a giant of a man with very low intelligence. The two are good friends and they travel around together. George, trying to keep Lenny in check, um, looks out for him, makes sure he's okay. They do manual labour, they travel around um, working on farms and things like that. At the start of the book they're about to start work at a new place because they have been run out of town at the last place they were at because Lenny once again got himself into trouble as he is wont to do. Lenny's major downfall is the fact that he loves soft things. Anything that he can touch and pet and feel he is all over. And unfortunately he saw a lady's beautiful red dress and wanted to see how soft it was and she didn't take too kindly to that um, so it led to them having to leave town. Lenny is a sweet guy but he does not know his own strength and he doesn't really know personal boundaries or what is socially acceptable. The two have a dream that they will one day own their own piece of land where they can work for themselves, they can make their own hours and Lenny is desperate to have a rabbit hutch filled with rabbits that he will be allowed to tend to. The two are a very sweet pair, their friendship is very interesting and you instantly feel some kind of connection with them and you're instantly on edge for what is inevitably going to happen. I knew how this ended to some extent, I knew the basic ending um, so I wasn't utterly shocked by the quite harsh way this story ends but the way it comes about I wasn't entirely expecting and the way that it is done is just this beautiful subtle writing that just grabs you it was gorgeous and really heartbreaking and normally if I read a modern classic like this that I know has a film adaptation I want to then check out the adaptation I don't think I could bring myself to watch this story unfold on screen. My imagination is usually more vivid than what I can watch on screen in an emotional sense. So normally things that upset me in a book uh, will upset me more than if I were watching it. But I think in this case, seeing these characters come to life on screen and seeing the way things unfold, I just, I don't really want to do it to myself. So I think I'm probably not going to watch the adaptation um, unless you guys have seen it and unless you think that it is definitely worth me checking out, I might reconsider. Um, but as for now, I have no intention. <laughs> this really, this shattered me, but in 
a much more subtle way than I was expecting. I was expecting me to get to the end of this and be sort of sobbing my eyes out as I want to do. Um, but I just was staring at the page. I just slowly put it down and I just sat there for about 10 minutes before I could function again. And that, which I think is obviously something that only good writing is gonna do. So any of you who did not have to read this in school, like I did not have to read this in school and have yet to get around to it, read it. It will take you no time. This took me about an hour and it's just, it is worth reading. It is definitely worth reading. Okay, so that's it guys. For those of you who have read Of Mice and Men, of which I'm sure there are many, please let me know your thoughts in the comments and let me know what other Steinbeck books you really enjoy. Um, I am pretty sure I want to read all of them. I have looked into his entire bibliography and I am interested in every single one of them, but I have no idea what order I'll be reading them in. So um, recommendations are always welcome. Thank you all for watching guys. I will see you soon.